Yo, 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 what's up guys? Welcome back to another awesome video here on the channel. Today we're going to be feeding for you guys the Echistrodon Pissivorus. This is the water moccasin, guys. This is a semi-aquatic pit viper that is native to the southeastern United States. And they are awesome with them being semi-aquatic, meaning that they live on land and they live on water all throughout their whole life. And this is one of the only species in the world that's like that. Another cool fact about this snake is they are related to the copperhead, the Echistrodon contortrix, and these snakes can actually hybridize and make a baby called a cottonhead, or that's just the little name somebody came up with, but it's pretty cool stuff. Make sure you check out that little picture over there. You can guys go see what that looks like, but there's not a lot of them out there, and it's not really something that happens naturally in nature so you really don't want to do that too often but you know there is some that exists so that'd be cool a little snake to have to show you the differences in between the two and what happens when you combine the genes just like some other snake species so this snake has some pretty distinguishing features it has a thick muscular body ranging in color from dark brown to black most notable characteristic is the white cotton like interior of the lining of its mouth and it uses this as a display for warning when this snake is threatened. So if you live down here in the southeastern part of the U.S., as you can see on the map here, it lines a lot of different areas. Make sure you are always looking where you step because you can never know what could be right around the corner. So needless to say, let's go ahead and roll it on out here with one of these rat friends somebody was commenting on one of the videos the other day saying that they enjoy the upgrade to the rats well the little breeding project i've got going on is going pretty good we're trying to expand out soon get a little bit more rats going because the snakes are getting a little bit bigger so we gotta make sure we can accommodate them especially with the eastern diamond bag but got a friend in there He missed. There's no water in there right now. I got to make sure to fill that up when we get done with this video. Because we had that one mouse that went in there and almost didn't come out. Whew. Shit. I mean, sheesh. He flung him across the whole cage, bro. That's fucking wild. Freaking wild. Hot diggity dog. Dang, son. Hope y'all enjoyed that slow motion shot. I think I got a pretty good one that time. But he is a beautiful snake. While we're sitting here waiting for the do to happen, you know what I mean? He's grown a whole lot since I've gotten him. If you go back and watch some of the early videos I made with him, things you can see that he's retained a lot of his banding pattern. He has darkened up a little bit more towards the base of the tail. But Neil, more or less, he's still kind of banded. He's just not as distinctive as it was. But it looks pretty good on camera to me. He looks a little more dull in person. Let's zoom in on him one more time and admiring this beautiful specimen that I've been growing since it was a baby. Fresh hatchling here. You can actually go back and see the unboxing video. I'll put that in the top right portion of the screen so you guys go check that out. If you want to see when I first got this snake. Oh yeah, our rat's pretty much done. He's upside down. May have to take this water bowl back out and sanitize it again. I don't know if you guys know, I do a lot of sanitization and cleaning whenever I do the feeding videos and stuff. So before I even bring the rats in the room, I go ahead and take the snake out and clean the enclosure out and make sure you give them fresh water. Put the snake back in 
and then before I put all the hives and the core in, go ahead and throw the mouse in, get them good and fed, make you guys a video, then move on to the next one. I feel like that's the best way to help me keep up with it. I still don't, I don't really make videos with all my snakes. I just really just make them with the venomous snakes and some other videos here and there, which I'm going to be doing some more educational videos coming out soon on some of the non-venomous snakes I have as well. Uh, because we're going to be doing an expansion pretty soon. Maybe around December, we're going to be getting a small facility to keep all these snakes in. I'm going to get a pretty one of those little tiny homes and hopefully drywall it out, put some circuit boards in there, circuit breakers, and get a little facility going so we can expand out, get us more snakes, because I still got more empty cages I need to fill back up with some stuff. I'm gonna go back getting back with my frogs, because you know I love my frogs and everything. We can make some more videos with the red-eyed tree frogs and things, but pretty awesome time.